ladies and gentlemen welcome to siboga tv which is your number one online political channel the involvement of raila amolo odinga in the asmio coalition is not tenable at this moment and i think raila amolo odinga and the odm fraternity they should quit or the they should quit asimio coalition because it is not serving their interest and that is actually what i want us to have a candid discussion why i feel odm being in asimio it is not going to serve their interest anymore and Raila Molo Odinga if he does not become careful he will actually be disrespected in the Asimio fraternity but before we dive in and try to dissect all that i could request you kindly to take a minute or two and subscribe to this youtube channel give this video a like share the video to your friends and if your friends are lovers of politics then it's good to request them to subscribe to this youtube channel now let us go deep into the discussion of the day why i feel that the odm fraternity and raila molo odinga as a person they should quit asmio fraternity because i believe that the asmio fraternity is not serving their purpose and if raila molo odinga and the asmio fraternity continue to be in that kind of relationship which i feel is quite toxic and in any toxic relationship it is good you read the signs and quit such a kind of a relationship and that toxic relationship is what it is in the asimio fraternity at large because raila molo odinga currently his interests are being good catered from the side of kenya kwanza and that is why raila molo odinga has actually donated for individuals to help the government of William Samoe Arapruto to be to be actually stable and that is why Raila Amolo Odinga has also helped William Samoe Arapruto so that he can control the Chenzi's revolution because as you can remember raila amolo odinga actually came in when the jenzis revolution was at the peak and he told the jenzis where do you think william samuel ruto is going because we don't have a replacement for that because kashagwa cannot replace william samuel arapruto and at the same same time if Gashawa cannot replace then there is a possibility that if Ruto leaves in office he may hand over the government to the military which will actually suspend the constitution and this is going to make Kenya to be a worse place and from that you can see that Raila Amolo Odinga is deep and as is concerned within the Kenya Kwanza fraternity and if you look at the other side of the Asimio side his core principles have actually said no to that and they have told Raila Amolo Odinga that what he has done has greater consequences to him and the Asimio fraternity and as you know raila molodinga 
could better be in the Kenya Kwanza agreement with the ODM because the Kenya Kwanza government is serving its interest very well because the Kenya Kwanza government is the one which has actually taken its name to the AU so that it can contest for the AU chairmanship. And that's why Raila Molodinga interests actually they lie within the Asmio fraternity. And therefore, there is no reason that Raila Amolo Odinga should be in the Asmio coalition. But being in the Asmio coalition, Raila Amolo Odinga is going to be embarrassed a lot. Because as you can remember, even the party allied to Mata Karua, who, is, who was actually his landmate in 2022, he has said he has actually quit the Asmio. And the Asmio, the way I see it, I, I look at it currently, it is a dead shell. It is something which does not exist. And therefore, it could be better. It could be uh, better for the good interest of Right Honorable Raila Amolo Dinga to bull out of the Asmio fraternity so that he can chart his own destiny within ODM and the Kenya Kwanzaa coalition. Because if we continue remaining within the Asmio fraternity, the Asmio might influence even the members within the ODM actually to disrespect Raila Amolodinga. Because as you know, when Raila Amolodinga was actually about to enter into the Kenya Kwanzaa, we had very many members within the ODM fraternity who were actually against that. The likes of James Orengo, who came publicly and said that they will not accept to work with William Samuel Arapruto at all cost. And they actually gave very hard conditions that should be met, if at all they should work with President William Samuel Arapruto. And therefore, if they continue being in the Asmio fraternity, you will find that other principles will make even ODM as a party to end up splitting because the people who are within ODM and who are against the Raila plan will actually feel that they have the strength because they will feel that they have people who still support them who still supports their call. And because we know if that energy is brought to the ODM, then there is a high likelihood that Raila Molo Odinga is going to receive a lot of disrespect even from the ODM fraternity. You saw what happened yesterday when the, the Asmio fraternity had to have a meeting Raila Molodinga came out, he took a, a photo with them, and he was talking about the conventional talks with the Kenya Kwanza government. But if you look at the Twitter of uh, Stephen Kalonzo Msioka, he also came out to contradict the message of Raila Molodinga by saying no conventional at all. So that means within the Asmio fraternity, it is now very clear that we have to divide. We have one divide allied to Raila Amolo Odinga. We also have another divide which is allied to Stephen Kalonzo Msioka. And that group consists of Eugene Wamalo. That group consists of Jeremiah Kioni. That group 
even Martha Karua used to be on that group. But as you know, Martha Karua is of the board of what we call the Asmio fraternity. And I think for Raila Amolo Odinga interest to be served best, it is time for Raila Amolo Odinga also to resign from the Asmio coalition as a leader of Asmio. And he should also now concentrate in building ODM and working with the Kenya Kwanzaa government. Because by doing so, then Raila Molo Odinga will actually grow ODM to be a party which actually will serve the national interest of Raila Amolo Odinga. And at the same same time, Raila Amolo Odinga could actually make himself to be shielded from the so-called insults and disrespect which might come from the other principles within the Asimio coalition. And that's why I, I hatch Right Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga, that it is time you must think properly and it is time now you should dissociate yourself with the Kenya Kwanzaa fraternity. And another thing which may actually be in the Asimio, which may cost a lot Raila Amolo Odinga, because being in Asimio, and as you know, Raila Molodinga actually want to serve at the AU. That might, might contradict his stand within the AU fraternity. And this will jeopardize his success rate at the AU. So Raila Molodinga, it's time for you to dissociate yourself from the Asimio fraternity and a deal with ODM as a party and the Kenya Kwanzaa fraternity. I really don't know what's your take about all that. Please drop your comment in the comment section below. And if this is your first time to pump into this YouTube channel, I request you kindly to take a minute or two and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give this video a like. Share the video to your friends. And if your friends are lovers of politics, then it is good to request them to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And for those ones who have actually subscribed to our YouTube channel, I say thank you. May God bless you abundantly because you always give us the inspiration to continue coming up with this kind of political analysis. Lastly, whenever you subscribe to our YouTube channel, always remember to smash the bell button because once you smash the bell button, you give YouTube a leeway to notify you so that you can watch any content as soon as we have brought it into YouTube. And with that, I say thank you. May God bless you all abundantly until we meet in our next video. Goodbye.